Coney Island is the premier amusement park destination in New York City. Located in Brooklyn, New York, alongside the Atlantic Ocean, Coney Island is comprised of several different parks and attractions. Today, there are two full-size parks in the Zamperla-owned Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. And then you have a few independent rides scattered along the streets. Together, the ride lineup has a unique mix of classic and modern attractions. There are 10 different roller coasters, plus some notable non-coasters that you cannot find elsewhere. So in this video, I will count down my top 15 favorite rides and attractions at Coney Island. Coming in at number 15 is Astro Tower at Luna Park. Let me begin by saying this is one of the weakest drop towers in the world. The ride has good height and several drops, but those drops are completely forceless. I've been on kitty drop towers that pack more of a punch, but this ride does excel as an observation tower. The views of Coney Island, the Atlantic Ocean, and New York City are breathtaking and you can take all of them in because you rotate throughout. Number 14, Atlantic Aviator at Luna Park. This variant on the familiar Zamperla Air Race is taller, so the views are a little better. But as the ride experience goes, it's fairly similar. It offers very little in terms of positive Gs, but the inversions offer some good hang time. Number 13, Tickler at Luna Park. This San Perla spinning wild mouse rode much differently in 2021 than it has for me in past years. When I previously rode it, Tickler spun ridiculously fast in the second half. It was on par with Six Flags America's Rage and Cajun with how fast it spun. But in 2021, the spinning in the second half was significantly slower. However, the ride compensated by starting the spin after the first hairpin turn. Usually these rides don't spin until the second half. The earlier spinning made the initial two drops much more thrilling because I was spinning during them. Number 12, Slingshot at Luna Park. These rides are usually upcharges, but it's actually included with the Luna Park wristband. Despite the ride's towering height and appearance, I actually find Slingshots a bit underwhelming, and this one was no different. There is a lot of anticipation for the launch, but it's not particularly forceful. It feels like a smoother and less intense version of an SNS Space Shot. The one redeeming quality about this ride is the initial flip. Rapidly flipping that high in the air is always a delight, especially when paired with those visuals. Number 11, Brooklyn Flyer at Luna Park. This is a smaller star flyer, but it has some decent force as it spins around. However, this ride has the same advantage as the Astro Tower. It offers stunning views and you spend your entire ride taking them in. Number 10, Soaring Eagle at Luna Park. This San Perla Volare is widely considered to be one of the smoothest and most comfortable of the installations out there. But to be honest, I've never found this hated coaster model uncomfortable. A few of the turns can be jerky, but the restraints don't cause any head banging for me. Maybe I'm just lucky, so I can actually appreciate the ride's forcefulness and the crazy hang time on those barrel rolls. Number 9, Steeplechase at Luna Park. This San Perla Moto Coaster has a deceptively powerful launch. Do not be fooled by this ride's stats. That first launch has a lot of giddy up to it. The rest of the layout is a little repetitive, but the mix of moderately forceful turns is fun, especially because the transitions into many of those turns deliver itty bitty pops of airtime. Number 8, Luna 360 at Luna Park. This inverting frisbee is very forceful. The downswings feel like they'll rip your legs off from all the crushing positive Gs. And those Gs are paired with some great hang time on the slow inversions. The one downside with this version is that the swings leading up to the inversions don't offer the usual airtime. Number 7, Phoenix at Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. The newest adult coaster in Coney Island is perfect for all ages. This Facoma suspended coaster is smooth and offers a cool, compact layout. The ride has solid transitions and several forceful turns. The two overbanks in the middle of the ride are very powerful up front, including one that feels darn close to an inversion. Meanwhile, the super tight turns at the end are stronger in the back, but they give good G's anywhere. I have a separate review that goes in more detail, 
but this is a great fit for Dino's. Number 6, Spookarama at Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. This classic dark ride may look like a tacky carnival dark ride from the outside, but it's actually one of the smartest haunted houses out there. The vehicles have high sides and face the walls, which conceals the scares up ahead. And I love how the audio seemingly comes from behind you, which makes my skin crawl. This audio, combined with the sets, makes it quite terrifying. You have a mix of large animatronics that get very close to you, plus some modern screens, but the ride also has 4D effects and strings and air blasts for even more creepiness. Number 5. El Dorado Auto Scooters This is one of the best sets of bumper cars in the world. The cars are fairly powerful, but what makes the ride stand out is the electric atmosphere. The arena feels like a dance club with the booming music, strobe lights, and disco balls. And the employees are incredible too. They ride in the backs of cars, and sometimes they'll ride around in supercars, taking no mercy on other guests, clobbering them into the wall. I have a separate review going into more detail, but this is arguably the funnest set of bumper cars out there. Number 4. The Wonder Wheel at Dino's Wonder Wheel Park This classic Ferris wheel has an entire amusement park named after it, and it's not hard to see why. This 101-year-old Ferris wheel is iconic, and it stands 150 feet, or 46 meters tall, so it offers stunning views of both the ride area and New York City. But what makes this ride truly special are those swinging cars. Few things are more terrifying than plunging towards the edge of the Wonder Wheel in those cars. Number 3. Zenobio at Luna Park This giant skyscraper has a super short cycle, but it is an intense ride. You get three rotations in each direction. The first is too slow to do anything, but the next two are amazing. The second rotation offers sustained floater airtime over the top, while the third gives a fast and aggressive flip over the top. And both those rotations deliver good G's at the bottom. Pair those thrills with spectacular views, and you have a winner. Number 2. Thunderbolt at Luna Park This is a very divisive ride. Most detractors point to the restraints and poor track work. Now the employees will staple you, but I actually don't find the restraints uncomfortable due to their profiling and the lack of bars next to your ears. And the forces are so strong that they can overcome the restraints. The ride is shaky, but the restraints prevent any headbanging or pain, so I don't mind. That allows me to appreciate this wild layout. The first drop offers a good pop of ejector airtime. The first two inversions offer hang time, while the far turnaround is this funky dive loop that offers a forceful inverted pop of airtime. Then the return run consists of some powerful bunny hills, loaded with ejector airtime, and a super whippy corkscrew. This ride has some flaws, but the layout is near perfection given how little space it takes up. And coming in at number one is the Cyclone at Luna Park. Often imitated, never truly duplicated. This classic wooden roller coaster is one of my favorites. One of the main reasons is the train. It has a single position lap bar and no seat dividers, so you will get thrown around in this ride. And the seats are cushioned like couches, so there's zero discomfort despite the ride's intensity and bumpiness. This ride is nearly 100 years old after all. The back car is better for airtime. The larger drops offer some wonderful ejector airtime, but the front car is no slouch either in that department. The front car is better for laterals. You get some of the strongest laterals of any ride as you are violently thrown to the side going into each turn. Remember, there are no seat dividers, so you're being thrown a good distance. I always come off this coaster laughing. The ride is special alone for its rich history, but the fact it's an incredible ride too is just icing on the cake. So those are my top 15 favorite rides and attractions at Coney Island. What are your favorite rides there, or thoughts on any of the attractions I mentioned? If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a like and you consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and music park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.